friends welcome back for another video in today's video I'm going to be showing you all of the notebooks and journals that I have used in 2021 I only got around to filming this video today uh, since there is no more construction noises from my neighbors so hopefully I will get this video up in the next week for me and so I won't be flipping through all of these journals uh, there is a lot of videos that I have featured most of these notebooks so any video that I have mentioned during the course of this video I will link it up above and in the description if you're interested to see those flip throughs of some of these journals so let me just organize these notebooks and put them to the side as I have mentioned earlier, some of these uh, journals I have already done flip throughs of, so I will quickly go through them uh, just to get them out of the way. So if you have been uh, watching my videos, you would know this 365 journal. I have flipped through this multiple times on a monthly basis, on a, a half a year and a whole year quiet flip through. And then these are my anime review journals. I have books one and two, and I am currently on book three. Um, I have shown this in my current journals video. These are still ongoing because I haven't uh, rewatched some of the old ones, so I haven't made a review of it yet. But if you would like to have like uh, pause the video to see if you need any anime recommendations those are from book one and quickly here in book two there you go I'm currently in book three uh, still a long way to go but slowly getting there I have also showed these in the current journal video and these are just my five-year journals and my social media tracker and gaming journal so I have uh, filled up most of these and abandoned some pages this is my gaming journal our journal about Genshin and Mungo Stray Dogs I have transferred uh, all the necessary information that I needed in here to another journal um, these journals, the five-year journals, I don't uh, intend to flip through these because these are more personal. They have names, informations, and uh, cases like those. And then my social media trackers, I have updated all of these. And so these uh, notebooks are retiring for 2022. Next we have here are my writing journals. Um, I have plan with me videos that I have in this uh, writing journal. I won't be doing these two first ones just because they are more personal. I ranted a lot in the previews uh, first half of the year in this one and also in this one. I can only show the front part but all of these are just pure writing and nothing really interesting happened uh, that I could show other than my scribbles uh, but these two are just normal pieces of so before doing uh, videos on YouTube I only would take any sort of uh, cheap notebook that I could get as long as I can write in it and that would serve as my journal but since I started making videos, I would want to upgrade to maybe better paper, better uh, supplies. That is why I went with the limelight. You have seen uh, some of these pages already. And maybe I could... Wait, let me... So this might be the safest page that I could show. So basically, this is the first time... Uh, in these journals that I have returned to the monthly uh, calendar overview. I didn't do it in the past uh, few months of 2021. 
and this was just uh, my easing into monthly themes again for the next uh, months after this in my new journal. Next one we have here is uh, my sketchbook. This is the one that I have used in October. This is technically not a journal but still a notebook that I have used in 2021. And uh, I have completed October 2021 in this notebook and I actually forgot if I have flipped through all of these pages. Previously I would have to go back and see if I have showed my sketches here but if I haven't then I'll make one maybe we'll see but if I have I will link it up above in the iCards for you to uh, if you're interested in my doodles and sketches from the past okay we're almost uh, done with all of the ones that I have already shown in the previous videos uh, these two are my archives for my anime journal. I have an A6 rings, a jelly cover, and once I have finished the year or the month, I transfer all of my finished spreads in these uh, A6 uh, ring binders. And I have a flip through of this one. This is my second anime journal that I've flipped in this channel. I will link it up above. And for the second one, I actually haven't touched my A6 ring since June of last year. So this is just, uh, I just made a few uh, spreads here and there for uh, birthday, character birthdays and such. So I won't be flipping through this yet until it's full. I have decided to continue it until 2022 since I don't really... Uh, make a6 uh, spreads that often so we'll see if I'm able to chunk this up a little more then I'll make the flip through video for this one and here we have the last uh, mini notebooks that I have for this uh, set of journals this one I haven't really showed uh, even in my current journals video so I will start with this one this I have only decided to make maybe around December of last year. This is all of the collection of my Genshin uh, screenshots from events, co-op games, uh, random uh, photos that I got with friends and our teapots. Uh, I still have maybe around halfway through before I will completely flip through all of these uh, photos but some of these photos are just repeats from uh, some of my other spreads. I just wanted to have one notebook wherein I will see all of the photos that I have taken with my friends. Um, just like an album. And so that is what this is. Next we have here is my 2021 and 2022 memories. I included 2022 just because I still have a lot of pages here left. Uh, let me turn to a safe uh, because some of these pages I have pictures of my best friend when she visits. So these are just uh, significant dates that I put in here like big and small moments that I'm grateful for and I actually haven't really uh, updated this since Christmas last year I'm s but I still have like a list here for when I batch update this I don't usually touch this uh, every month but when there are like a lot of events that I have already list down I just batch make all of the spreads in here and then lastly this is a monthly calendar I used to have these monthly little notebooks um, since I was still in college. It gives me a place to look uh, over all of the things that I have uh, done or what happened in the month. This is a gift from my best friend. She knew that I really like this layout and so I just... At first, uh, you will see a contrast in the way that I made uh, my layouts here. 
Um, this was in the beginning of the month. I thought that I would run out of the white ink easily, so I decided to just put in all of the significant uh, dates that I could remember. And it looked very blank and bland for me, so I wanted to uh, have a little more writing. By little more, I mean a lot more writing. And it actually looked very cute this way. Um, and so I included even my black pen for this, even if it is craft paper or recycled paper. And it gave much more of a contrast this way. So uh, it is in June that I really did start um, decking out all of the boxes. And if I don't have a specific uh, event for one box like nothing at all happened I just uh, place a sticker just to decorate the blank page And that is it for that one. So those were the 17 journals that I have used in 2021. Some of them will be carried over to 2022. And so I hope you enjoy seeing all of this chaos that I have. I can't even fit all of them in the frame as neatly as I wanted to. But still, um, if you enjoy it, uh, I do hope you like this video. And... I hope you check out some of those videos that I have mentioned previously. And if you like, do let me know down in the comments how many notebooks have you used in 2021. Uh, is this a number of notebooks too crazy or is it okay? And that is it for today's video. I do hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next one. So until then guys, bye bye!